All right, guys, Drew Brees joins us here in the Superdome after a Superdome shootout against the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, you know, your head coach said he didn't anticipate a game like this in terms of tempo. Did it surprise you a little bit, too? Well, the final score surprises me a little bit. I don't think either side thought, you know, they'd be scoring that many points against these defenses. But um, that was just the flow of the game, right? Um, I think great tempo on both sides. Um, you know, both sides came up with some big plays, uh, you know, offensively. And... Um, I mean, it was just hard fought, you know. It wasn't like one team got out by, you know, got up by a lot, and then the other team came roaring back. I mean, it was just back and forth, just trading punches like a heavyweight fight. But um, listen, you just, regardless of what happens throughout the course of the game, there's always ebb and flow and back and forth. But you just want a chance to win in the end, right? And we had that chance. Um, unfortunately, so did they, <laughs> you know. But uh, I mean, that's part of the game. You had your 50th career comeback the last time you were in this building against the Carolina Panthers, really close to 51. You get the ball with 2.19 left. You drive down the field. You get Traquan the touchdown. How would you feel after that drive? Honestly, I felt like we gave him too much time. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, you know, you, 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 like, you like to close that out with 20 seconds left or 10 seconds left, but uh, just, you know, knowing the way that that game had gone, right? Um, but... There's a there's a there's a there's a balance to that, right? You know, you 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 want to score, you, you have to score to win. Um, and you know, Traquan made a great play. You know, throw Michelle across, and he breaks two tackles and scores a touchdown. This game, to me, I know you're always hard on yourself in terms of red zone. I know you would have liked to have scored some touchdowns, not some field goals. Did you feel like that was a big difference in this game, not converting some of those? Well, here's the thing: we we were four or four in the red zone, right? So we we're 100 percent once we crossed the 20, which is which is good. Um, but yeah, you know, we second half there, right? You know, we, we get the turnover, man. You, you, you want that to be, it's all about the tipped interception that we get. You want to, you want to go down and, and get seven points. You know, we get the offensive pass interference. And so that brings us back and takes us out of field goal range. And, uh, I think we get one field goal, you know, on another drive, but bottom line is yes, those you'd like to convert to touchdowns. You and Jared Cook were off and running. I mean, two quick touchdowns in this game. To lose him, how did that impact this offense? Listen, I, I, I think he was poised to have a big day, <laughs> you know, um, based on that first quarter. So it was tough to lose him. Put a lot more on to Josh Hill and Taysom Hill. Those guys did a phenomenal job. But, you know, you felt like, man, there was a good matchup to be had there. There was, you know, we were, we were rolling with, with Jared and, and then obviously with all the guys. We were spreading it around. You know, every, everybody was involved. Deontay Harris was one of those guys. You had an end around. I mean, he had a big day returning the football, but you really got creative with him in this offense, too. He's, he's an exciting player. Um, he, he's got a great skill set. Um, I think when he gets the ball in his hands, everybody kind of holds their breath, right? Because something exciting is about to happen. Um, so, yeah, he's, he, he's a great asset. Final question I have, uh, you don't control your own destiny, but you can still be the top seed in the NFC. How do you approach these last three games now? Win. All right, just play our best. Play our best and win football games, and it all works out. Pretty simple, huh? All right, Drew, I appreciate your time. Thanks, Mike. All right, Drew Brees here in the Superdome. Uh, of course, he's going to be in studio with us this week, and in our future pregame shows on Saints game day, we're going to have a lot of one-on-ones from Drew Brees about a variety of subjects. Back to you guys.